my god, they've done it. Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another match vlog. It's Coventry City at home to Huddersfield Town in the Championship tonight. Monday night football. We don't usually get this at the CBS. It's an interesting matchup here. Obviously, I'm a Coventry fan and... The expectation was pretty high for us at the start of the season because the money that we'd spent, yes, I know we've lost big players, but especially after last season, uh, we've set the bar and Mark Robbins is a good manager in my opinion and we're doing fantastic. Um, we haven't had a great start though and we take on Huddersfield Town today who've had a reasonable start. Their recent form's actually really good. They've won a couple games and then they got the draw against Stoke City, but there is obviously a big change in the fact that Neil Warnock has now retired for the 500th time or something. Um, Darren Moore is the manager. I do like Darren Moore. He did a good job, obviously, at Sheffield Wednesday and was un treated unfairly, in my opinion. So I do hope he does good for Huddersfield, but um, I hope it's a losing start for them tonight, obviously, as a Coventry fan. Um, it's going to be an interesting game. I'm going to go 1-0 Coventry. I'd like to see loads of goals but the most important thing is a Coventry win so I will settle for a 1-0 I wouldn't take a draw tonight to be honest before we get into the CBS to see Coventry City versus Huddersfield go down let's smash 250 likes on this one hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already it's free to like and it is also free to subscribe do make sure to like and subscribe down below and comment your opinions um, I'll give my post-match thoughts after the game let's get to the CBS <laughs> Here we are, Coventry City versus Huddersfield, 8 p.m. kickoff. Georgie boy, how are we doing? Uh, first of all, I just want to say that is incredible support. Yeah, fair play to Huddersfield. That's got to be 10,000, doesn't it? <laughs> there's, there's literally about three coaches there. Like, that is shocking. I know it's a midweek game. Well, it's, it's a Monday night. It's on Sky, but come on, that is that's shocking. Yeah. Well. What we can say is uh, fair play to the ones that have come. I don't know how many that is. And obviously fair play to the Coventry fans. I reckon probably 20,000 today, we'll see. Let's get a prediction, Bertie. Hello, um, I'm going to say we're going to win this for once. We're going to win a game, we're going to win it 2-0, and it's going to be Godden, then Sims. He's getting his first today. I didn't get your prediction, by the way, George. 4-0. To Huddersfield, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, shoot! You never make it. Coventry has started right. Oh, great effort. I think what's important. This looks promising. Ellis Sims. Ellis Sims still going. Lays it, Liam Kelly, De Silva, go on, oh, Sakamoto, oh, corner. Cov corner, 15 minutes, Eccles, no. Come on, boys. Uh, Sims. Yes! Oh! Yes! Come on! Yes! What the hell? It came off the bar, I think, and then ricocheted in. Come on! Is that Sims' first goal? No, it went in off someone else. One nil to the Sky Blues. Really good effort from Sims, but he won't get the goal. I think it came off a of Yari. Come on! Coventry corner. Go on. Oh, shoot. Come on, boys. Let's get that second. Come on. Yeah. 
Here we go. Good cross. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Half time here at the CBS. Coventry 1, Huddersfield 0. Um, no problems from me. Very happy with that. The only thing I would say is Coventry could be more than one nil up. We've really dominated that first half, so if we can get a second, we can kill it off. Otherwise, we might just have to do it the hard way and cling on one nil. Huddersfield haven't offered a lot, but you never know. They might pop up with something in the second half. George, yeah, pretty happy. Yeah, I, I'm not going to complain. Um, I think we was lucky with that goal, though, although it was well deserved. So a brilliant chance and a brilliant save, actually, by their keeper. But, you know, we got a bit of luck and it bounced in, so not going to complain. But, yeah, like you said, we could be, like, two or three nil off. So Absolutely. We need another goal in the second half, I reckon. I agree. We are back for the second half. Come on, boys. Get the job done. Good defending. I'm sorry. I don't know how this has happened. We're about 20 minutes into the second half. Coventry have lost all the intensity we had in the first half. And now, oh, oh goodness me, we're clinging on. We're right on the back foot. Huddersfield have grown into it. This is why we needed a second. Oh God, here we go again. Oh. Well out. Oh God, we're getting closer and closer, Huddersfield. We've got to get a second. Good chance. Ooh. Oh, good save. It's a good save, Benny. Oh, good head. Oh, yo, yo. Well cleared, boys. Here we come. Go on. Oh, Jesus. Well, I think we might have to cling on to a 1 0 win because we don't look like scoring a second. Oh, my God, they've done it. Huddersfield have done it. 90 plus 5. Oh, my gosh. Well, it was coming, and look, the Huddersfield fans are kicking off. Huddersfield fans charging at the Cov fans there. It's a draw. This is it now, last seconds. Oh, get it back in. Someone. It's, it. it's a draw. It's a bloody draw. Absolute disbelief amongst the Coventry fans. Just got back. Oh, that is a bitter, bitter pill to swallow. That is a horrible way to concede. Uh, Coventry haven't conceded a last minute goal in some time, so it's horrible. Uh, but one thing I need to say is Huddersfield deserved it. At half time, we were saying Coventry deserved to be winning at half time because we were the better team in the first half. Second half, I don't know what happened. We we just didn't seem to want a second goal or want to kill it or at least when we did get forwards we didn't have the quality to go and get a second. And Huddersfield bossed the second half. They deserved their equaliser. The most frustrating part is the fact it was the last minute. If they'd have equalised on like 60 minutes or something, you'd be like, okay, it's a bit more bearable. But 90 plus 4 or 5, it's horrible. And then, um, yeah, the Huddersfield fans were charging at the Cov fans or whatnot, just uh, rubbing it in basically. <sighs> it's horrible. But... Um, it doesn't surprise me based on the way Coventry have been playing coming into this game. We don't look amazing at the moment. We are suffering with injuries, but that's no excuse, by the way. We're at home today in a game which we were fancied to win. No disrespect to Huddersfield, by the way, because they did play well. But um, I predict us to win 1-0. You know, we were the favourites for that. I and mean, we haven't got the points, so we now need to make up for it and go get some points on the road. Need to beat QPR on Saturday. Otherwise, this bad start is going to become insurmountable. We got away with it last season, but we had Hamer and Jokrez, and Hadji Wright doesn't see him in the same league as Jokrez. Hadji Wright wasn't great. I'm not trying to scapegoat him, but Ellis Sims actually had a decent game, and I think him coming off for Wright wasn't really the great decision to make. Um, but, yeah, I don't want to pick on individuals. Um, just collectively, could have defended that goal better, and we should have you know, established a two-goal lead at least. 
Fair play to Huddersfield. Darren Moore gets off to a drawing start and, you know, their fans enjoyed it. So fair play to the ones that came down. Um, as I say, Coventry need to win on Saturday at QPR. Your thoughts, Burgi? Well, all I'm going to say is the first half, I thought we had a winning team. We Definitely within the first 30 minutes, we looked like, the, you know, we putting the challenges in and we were, could have won that 3-0 with the way we were playing in the, the first 30 minutes. And then it looked almost equivalent to the Hull away second half. Yeah. They, 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 I mean, Huddersfield, like Hull, they deserved two. Yeah. Well, they deserved to at least get back into it anyway. Yeah, a bit like the Hull game, actually, because we were winning it in the first half and it all went wrong. I don't want to dwell on it too much. Do share your thoughts down in the comments. It's a disappointing draw for Coventry. And, um, yeah, I think we're still in the bottom six or seven in the division. Not great. If you've enjoyed the video, though, please do make sure to drop a like. Do make sure, of course, to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye, guys.